the beginning of your end step, if you gain new life this turn, we create a 1 1 cat. And then, if you have the Seas Blessing, for each token you control at the end of the battlefield this turn, create a token that's a copy of it. So that's pretty good. That can go uh, really, really wild. Uh, also, we have Static Prison. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, exile non land permanent and put a controls until it leaves the battlefield, and we get two energy. At the beginning of our pre combat main phase, we sack Static Prison unless we pay an energy. We make a lot of energy, so not a big deal. Galvanic Discharge, we get three. We, tar we choose a target creature or walker. We get three energy. And then we may pay any amount of energy to deal that much damage to it. Lightning Bolt is Lightning Bolt. Ragavan. A couple of uh, Johnny. Nakato Pariah. So basically, a Johnny comes in, makes a 2 1 cat. And then when a cat dies, we get a Johnny Nakato Avenger with the abilities plus two to put a plus one plus one on each cat we control. Zero to make a T1. And then if we control another red permanent, he deals damage equal to the number of creatures we control to any target, which is pretty good. We go pretty wide, so I like that. And then his ultimate is each opponent chooses an artifact creature and enchantment and a planeswalker from among their non-land permanents and sacks the rest. Meh. Good if you can hit it, not the most impactful ever since they get a choice. Amp Raptor, kind of what helps make this work. If we cast it from hand, we get two energy. Uh, or if, if we get two energy when it enters the battlefield, and if we cast it from hand, we look at the top card of our library until we exile and or we exile cards from the top of our library until we exile a non-land card, and then we may cast that card by paying energy equal to its mana cost. We've also got a couple Blood Moon just to hate on those Trons in the main. Couple of Bone Crushers, make sure we get around the One Ring, because that could stall us out. Fable, because Fable's a good card. And Flage, the one red white legendary gi Elder Giant. When it enters the battlefield, it deals three and gains three life. Then we sacrifice it, unless it escaped. Technically, it's worded first, but we can stack any which way we choose. And then it escapes, like all of them, for double pip double pip so double red double white exile five other cards from our graveyard and he's a six six just a really good card over on the side we've got celestial purge so we can exile a target black or red permanent sun cleanser to deal with opposing energy stuff based decks harsh mentor for activated abilities hi nadu blood moon the third because why not our companion cup of wear tears one of the best cyborg cards ever printed a couple of licensed hurts and a disruptor flute to go with the one in the may just attack stuff i really like this deck i think it's really cool really efficient really low to the ground aggro deck hopefully we do well we're on the draw so but that is fine we do have that reactive element to our cell our deck so that's always nice uh well we know we can fetch around so i'm probably gonna get planes We'll see what they present. I've got a lot of good stuff here, so I'm going to keep. And see what we're up against. It's Tron. So this Blood Moon is pretty huge. Uh, so we're going to uh, red monkey hope we don't get chaliced on one because that could just hose us right then and there uh and see if we can do it you know we're gonna get oh lord yeah this is uh yeah we kept a hand that played magic and okay that uh a little annoying, but isn't like a knockout against us. Okay. And a bolt. Always good. So let's cast the monkey and say go. We'll fetch a planes next. They do have four mana, so they could just... Um... Okay. Looks like they're stirrings. I'm hoping they're just going to drop a three tough to Eldrazi or something. We can drop Blood Moon, try and lock him out. 
I do hate that, uh... Alright. Alright, and we drew a plane, so that's actually perfect. Let's see if we can connect with Monkey. We do? Awesome. Okay, now this isn't going to completely stop them. They're still going to have four mana next turn, which I'm not going to lie, really, really sucks. But, you know, I still feel like we're... We had it go about as well as we could. We had it go about as well as it could. And uh, we'll say go. We're going to drop... I don't know. I'm kind of thinking... Uh, if they don't play like a Thought Knot... Okay, the fact that they went Stirrings is pretty good. I kind of don't want them to know we've got so much going on. I'm kind of thinking... Oh god, are you okay, Tommy? I mean, I've had stuff like that happen, like... Alright, yeah, we're it's uh, pedal to the metal time, folks. Uh... Yeah, I mean, surely we just do this, right? Static prison. Eat their talisman. Drop. Also up pride, hit them to 14. And, uh... Sadly, we didn't gain life, but, you know, here's hoping next turn. All right, so I feel like pretty good. We got lucky. We've got them underneath of a blood moon. We don't have the fastest clock ever was. Yep, we will definitely pay that. We'll play a land and uh, let's swing with both. All right, what do we get? Uh. Not the greatest, but let's put Jagatha to hand and say go. Okay, uh, that's gonna help. We have many, many kitties. Always good. So... I'm liking where we're going. I'm not liking that we've yet again failed to find a, uh... Failed to find... Oh, sweet! They just scooped it up. Awesome. Well, I mean, we're gonna get like a million, th uh, game objects. You know, we were just running underneath of them. So efficient. Alright, so I'm liking Blood Moon a lot. I like Gal Discharge. I I like the flute. I'm a little meh. Go meh. Amp Raptor's always good. The ramp. I like Bone Crusher. I think maybe we can kind of flage. They do bring in a lot of hate. So that is I feel like that's pretty good. Also, we, we want a Blood Moon early and often. So Flage can get a little funky there. I like Amped. I like Fable. I kind of want Room. So I think we could trim Able, bring in a Wear Tear. Just to be able to smash artifacts. I kind of want one more cut. I like a Johnny. I, maybe I cut... Uh, I, mm. Monkey was huge there, so I don't really want to cut him. I liked Pride a lot. That works with pride. This is where you get to these, huh? I'll try it as is. We're up a game and we'll see. You know, we could completely botch this. Again, that turn two Blood Moon was just like walk out. And the fact we were just vomiting so much power. Okay, yeah, this is a, a keep and a half, I feel like. 
Okay, there we go. There's Ugin's, as always. Chalice, ooh, no. Okay. Um, let's just go here, also at Sego. I mean, and then I think we're going to Amped Raptor, hope to hit something. Blood Moon, and uh, hope that's enough. Hope that is enough. I do like... Okay. Okay, that's three mana. Alright. Well, let's go ahead. Let's get in with Kitty. Let's shock... I really want to drop that other also up pride, but we can get so much good stuff with this amp raptor. Hey, zero energy just to get more. And say go, we get a cat. And, uh,. They do have more mana than they rightly need, but hey, it is what it is. We're going to be able to kill most of what they get, depending on what it is. Kind of hoping it's Thought Knot. Kind of the least scary thing they could do. Oh, it's through the breach, and we lose. Cool. Okay, now that we know what it is, uh, we want both Disruptor Flutes. Blood Moon actually not looking as good. Huh, how do we hate out what they're doing? I still do like Blood Moon just to slow them, so maybe we keep that in there. Uh, they're not going to be playing creatures or really walkers, so I mean, I think we could take out a lot of this. And maybe instead of the discharges, we just have bolts. They do play like smaller stuff. So maybe actually there, yeah, they do play smaller stuff. Okay. You know, there are these things that are like hard counters to what we're trying to do. I don't know that this is one. They can chalice us on one. We have to remain a vigilant of that. I do hate they've managed to find all of their mana rocks each and every time. That is kind of annoying, but it is what it is. All right. Reveal Elk. Uh, keep. And we're going to go Shock. Actually, I'm going to go... Oh, Lord. Uh, we are a lot weaker to combo decks. I was hoping this was regular Tron. Cast, Monkey, and Sego. Hmm. Uh, my god, they have Dismember. They do. Ah, I'm getting squished. Yep. Uh, this is, uh... Though this is kind of standard, uh... Opener from them. All right. That does take us some. Um... Yeah. Oh, Lord. They've got Chow. Oh, they don't? Okay. Well, there's that. I mean, I still feel like we're really, really far behind. Okay. Uh. They can't through the breach this turn. So, what I think I'm going to do is Soul Guide. So, sadly, she doesn't see herself, but we'll play Soul Guide. 
And then, uh, just hope they don't have it. Get a planes after we cat. Oh, never mind. They just slow rolled us and they've got it. All right, well. All right, uh, let's flute. See if this baits out the breach. We could just be dead here. in the tank like I don't I th yeah they had it they always did Ooh. oh no oh they don't have anything uh, uh, hmm hmm I don't know how I feel about this. I kind of want a way to kill that. Through the breach. Just to tax them a little bit more. I mean, they can get a lot here. You know, that obviously really sucks for us. All right, we'll play out the first kitty cat and say go. Yes, these are real players, Tommy. Uh, a lot of the pros will play Moto a lot. Uh, it is a really good way to get a lot of experience. I mean, it's like high level competition too. Yeah, I was going to say, they might want to rethink that one getting us live. They might... Okay, Thief of Existence. Hug. Yep. Oh my lord, that is humongous for them. Yep. And yet another Ugin's Labyrinth. Yep. Uh, it's not looking great. All right, um, yeah, we're just whiffing hard, I'm afraid. Uh, I mean, I'm going to attack just to see if they block it so we can make a bunch of cats. Okay, yeah, they do. We're going to lose one, but we're going to make two. I mean, I still think if they draw through the breach, we're just dead. That Thief of Existence was a humongous swing in their favor. You know, we're going to hope... Uh, like, we can Arena of Glory into something, although... Okay, Thought Knot is fine. That doesn't really do anything right now. All right, uh, well, let's go colorless, colorless, white, elk, and say go. I mean, so long as they don't, like, uh, through the breach Emrakul us, we're fine. And if we can get, uh, if we can blow that up and walk them off uh, colorless mana, suddenly we're doing a lot better. All right, Thief of Existence. Uh, you have no artifact to hit their opponent, so. That's fine. Okay, Mountain. Mountain. 
red. And we, we're going to have this gain haste. We're going to have like a leftover mana because I didn't tap right, but whatever. And then they can kill it, but they're going to have to put... We're going to have to at least be able to draw a card here. And, uh... I screwed that all up, but eh, what are you going to do? Yep, I didn't pay attention. I got too quick happy, but that's okay. And they can't just chump it with one of them. They actually take it. Okay. I mean, we could be dead to a through the breach. We just lose everything. Alright, let's get in with the tokens and see if they block. I just want them to speed up the clock here a little bit. I'm thinking about just doming the like, we'll see what they do here. I'm thinking about just doming the thief or the thought not to draw. All right. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, oh, they're only going to get that one. Okay, well. And we'll spend all four. We'll draw. And we'll play this. And we'll see if we die. I mean, like, they've got Emrakul. Like, if they put that back in hand through the breach, we're just history. Okay, all is dust. That's pretty good. All right, yeah, we're going to be taking eight here. All right, crack. And let's get an elegant. Come on, Fwage, off the top. Ooh, yeah, I don't think that helps us right now, because we need to kill them. All right. Um, yeah, we got to try and find something. We need Fwage here, uh, so we can put it into the yard and escape it. Oh. Beautiful, beautiful. Haste mana. Why? Why? And we got there, everybody. So long as I don't screw this up. All right. So here. And there we go. We gave it haste so we could swing again, dome them for an additional... Uh, three and win. Ah, uh, ah, uh, that was good. Well, we're on the draw again. You know, we were able to get there, able to cheese them out uh, last time. So maybe we can do that too. You know, we do have two main deck blood moons. Uh, mm, e uh, Tommy, yes and no. Uh, I think it depends on. Yeah, I'll keep this, because this is a really interactive hand. Alright, it might be the mirror. Uh, it really depends, you know, like, because... Alright, we'll just drop a Flooded Strand so they don't know whether we're on this or Jeskai. Or Murktide or something. And, uh... Let's see what they fetch. It's going to tell us what matchup we're against. Okay, Elegant Parlor could mean literal anything. They did keep on top. They've got Jagantha, so that does mean it is more likely than not something like our deck. Okay, it's Mardu.
All right. Uh, in that case, we will uh, let's get an elegant parlor trigger. Um, yeah, we'll put on top because I like that. That does kind of break the energy in our favor. All right, we'll play Aether Hub. They now know what we're on. Uh, I'm going to say go and just hold up. I'd like to just stop that. That way we can... Uh... All right. All right, so we don't have to worry about any tricks. Let's just go ahead and let's cast Stomp. They might kill it in response to Fizzle or Stomp. They don't. Good. Good, good. Okay. A Johnny. Yep. Galvanic Discharge. Mmm. Yeah, I kind of want to start fueling for Flage, so... Ooh, Soul Guide. That's... That's a good one. Um... Mmm... Yeah, we'll put it on top. Let's go ahead, bowl to Johnny. And say go. We might have to take two here. If we do, we do. You know, is what it is. Because I'd rather make sure we've got the ability to kill multiple things. You know, like we can just... Alright, they do that. And I'm like, they could flage us. Okay, they put Jagatha to hand. And why we'll go here. Red, uh, let's go ahead. Let's, uh, I, I kind of just want a planes here, you know. Carlos, this. Red, we'll drop Bone Crusher. And start getting some energy. And then I think we're going to... Uh, we'll probably eat another hit from the Cat Warrior. Again, we've got Flage in hand. So, you know, is what it is what they do over there. Mm, not much we can do. And I think we'll just... Uh, They do have more cards. We know one of them's Jagantha. Okay, so they flage. My guess is they're going to kill our Bone Crusher. Ooh, okay, interesting. Okay. Second flage for us, eh? Red colorless. Well, we'll see theirs and raise ours, so... Uh... Yeah, let's kill that. F ours dies. That dies. Um... Now, nah, we've only got really one play here, so let's go ahead. Let's smash in with our Bone Crusher. I mean, if they, they're unlikely to be able to unearth fleed. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, there are combinations of cards. Like, you could argue this is a combo deck, but in the context of magic, like, combos just mean uh, two cards that when they resolve, they kind of, like, or a few cards that when they resolve, I should say. They sort of just take over the game, you know? Um. Uh. Yeah, let's... Ooh, okay. We've got multiple options open to us. So I'm going to start off. I'm going to try and get in with Bone Crusher, see what they do. I mean, if they want to kill my Bone Crusher, that's fine. I'm thinking about... Uh, Uh, okay, so that'll hit them in the face.
All right. So we'll do that. Uh, I mean, we're going to lose our creature, but it's fine. Um, now, we have two options here. We could escape Wage and just give them a big threat. Um, yeah, I'm kind of for that. Or actually, Control Z. Red. Red, red. And they're going to escape their flage. I don't think they've got a way to haste it, though. I mean, they don't have the energy to kill ours. And uh, that's a big life swing. We've got another one in hand. Plus some other good cards. You know. And if they do shatter this somehow, like, we can... Okay. Well... Uh, Wap wap. You know. Alright, so they're gonna gain, but we've got them. Let's do this. Okay. Uh, I mean... Mm. That's not great, but we've got multiple avenues to deal with stuff. Now, they're going to be able to flage next turn. Um, not really anything we can do about it. The, we're going to get to keep theirs locked up for quite a while. Uh, whether they will let us have ours back or keep it locked down, you know, hard to say. Okay, they decide to keep it locked down. Uh, soul guide. Okay, fine. Um, that on the stack. Let's go ahead. Let's bolt here. Alright. So they're going to shoot our cat. Alright. Alright. Alright, let's get a planes. Red, white. We'll flage them back. In this order, so hit their face. Go up to 25. Put Jagatha in hand. Make not let them know about our static prison. Because, I mean, yeah, they can escape their flage, but, you know. I mean, I feel like they, yeah, they keep it locked down. We've got a way to deal with theirs, so I'm kind of, like, not caring. But that's going to be a life swing, you know. One, two. Okay, yeah, we've got it. So we're going to drop this, drop Gigantha. They can't kill our Gigantha. It does suck that they have, uh, you know, multiple. Okay, we get another static prison. Red, colorless, red, here. And we'll just go here and... Big Elk, say go. I mean, they could escape theirs, but we've got another one. Uh, so we will just get more energy. All right. 
that will put them to 16, put us to 19 more likely. They might be able to kill Jagatha if they do that, but then we'll get a Flage back, and I don't think they want that with Fuel to escape the one that's in the yard. That seems kind of dicey to me. Okay, Fable is a good one for them. All right. All right, so we'll do that red here. Okay, and uh, we'll attack with Jagatha. Put them down here. Both of these red. And admittedly, uh... You know, since they've got another Flage, this is a little risky. This is a little risky, I know, I know. But we've got a way to deal with theirs. And if we draw a Bolt, it's over. Or if we draw another Flage, it's over. Blood Moon, kind of a dead card here, you know. And we can keep... Theirs off the battlefield a lot longer than they can ours. Because if they have to know, like, if we could deal with their Flage, we have Lethal on board. Uh, we have another Flage. They're not the hardest to deal with in this matchup, believe it or not. The fact that you could just reset them. All right. Let's see. So they get two new cards. Sucks. Uh, We'll keep that one. All right, there. They ah, you try to trick you in there, opponent. All right, I think just having a big life cushion will help too. Now they can get their flage back. I mean, but we've got a way to clear. Okay, clear the board. They eat ours. That's fine. I'm kind of hoping they don't have a way to kill Jagatha. They might, though. Okay, it looks like... Looks like the accident... Oh, and they're going to have to use a mana for it. Or an energy for it. Okay. Okay, okay. We've got this one, then. We've got it. We've got it, folks. We're going to kill their Fwage with a Static Prison. And a Smash Face for the last five. And hopefully pick this one up. That's the only four mana play like that I could think of that would require that specific circumstance of tapping. All right. So they did do really well there. Okay. Ah, oh, thank you, Lord. Okay, and we got there. We got there with this one. You know, it's going to... Game two is going to be a real deal. Static Prison. And that's game. Alright, so we want unlicensed hurts for the two Blood Moons. Ooh, which classic card? Uh... A lot of these are all newer, except for, like, the lands, obviously. Uh, Bull, you know, that's been around since the beginning. Yep, that planes. Uh, this is one from Portal. Uh, I just really like the Portal lands. I think they're very, very pretty. They're very pretty. I got lucky that this is what Mad Traders hooked us up with today. You know, as always, ooh, I like Wear Tear against them. I think that's the next level. I think we bring in Wear Tear. I don't like Disruptor Flute as much. We could 61 card special it. You know, that's always a thing. I think Fable is good. Um, monkey's a little fragile on the draw, so I'm going to put back a Monkey. Oh, and put back another Monkey. Bring in a Sun Quinzer. Okay. Okay, I think we're doing well. 
Put back the bolts and bring in Celestial Perch. Because I have so many red permanents. And we deal with the white permanents fairly easily. Um, yeah, we'll try it like that. We're up a game, so I think we can play this one a little bit more experimental. Really liking this, though. Ooh. I remember that one, Tommy. Oh, God, that with that. I believe that had the live action cutscenes, if I'm thinking of the right one. That had some really cool, really fun stuff in it. Uh, I mean, this hand is a little risky, but we get to take the turn off. We get to make sure that we police their flages. We get to drop a Johnny pretty early, so yeah, we'll keep. We're on the draw. I think we could take these kind of risks. I mean, they could go monkey and then we're in a world of hurt. You know, that happens, that happens. Like, I don't... Mm. Also, up pride would suck too. Speak of the devil. Okay, amp crafter. Uh, I mean, we're gonna... They're gonna get, like, a lot of tokens. It is what it is. But we're gonna get a look. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's why, like, I just use a rental program for MTGO. Like, I, I could not justify spending actual money on this, you know? Alright, so they're gonna get an Aether Hub. I think they're spinning it to win it with Amp Grafter. All right, let's see what they get. Galvanic. I think they're going to do a similar play to what we did when we played ours. Zero. All right. They make a token. And yeah, we're going to get an elegant parlor. Oh, yeah. No, Pokemon does that too. Magic. Um, Yeah, we'll put that on top. We'll draw it. All right. So, get an energy, colorless red, and we'll see your play there, opponent. Uh, what do we hit? Bleh. That was bad. That was really bad. Ah, uh, we'll tank it. Yeah, we'll tank it. I'm feeling this isn't going very well. I'm feeling like this isn't going very well for us at all. Okay, uh... Blah? Okay, another Aether Hub. Uh, yeah, we'll do this. So, white, colorless, a uh, Johnny. And we'll drop our own also up pride. Uh, and yeah, let's swing with Amp Raptor. Let's see if we can eat something or better yet two th th uh, two somethings. I don't think they're gonna block like that. Why would they? I mean, they are ahead technically, so I think that is valid. If they've got removal, you know, things are looking mighty bleak for us here. They're going to get a bin to things. They're unlikely to be able to escape a... They're unlikely to be able to escape a Flage this turn. So I'm kind of all about... Oh no, they're getting an Amped Raptor, it seems. All right, spin it to win it, opponent. They might just do better than us. They might just get better Amp Raptor hits. Okay. Uh, oh, Lord. All right. Uh, we're definitely going to start eating their yard with uh, Unlicensed Hearth soon. 
Oh my god. Sun Quinzer, uh, well, this is going about as sideways as it can. Uh, okay, so we get a Sun Quinzer. That is definitely not bad. Let's play Hearse first. Why? Why? Let's go ahead. Let's Sun Quinzer. Them. Uh. Yeah, it's a cat. Let's see if we can't start gaining some life and some tokens. This is going to be tricky for them uh, because when they if they give this to us, uh, we get to flip our Johnny and start making cat tokens and start sniping their key stuff. Like we'll kill their Sun Quinzer. Not that we have much that cares about energy at the moment. All right. Okay, so that is a problem. There's flips. Though they can't, like, their removal doesn't really work right now. Okay, they get their hearse. Yeah, this, uh, yeah, I'm just going to make them, uh, all right, get their discharge, get that. Okay. Okay, uh, well, that is not bad. So yeah, we can't gain tokens. So what I'm gonna do is red, colorless, stop theirs, see? Okay, okay, see, like, well, now we do that, and, um, I think we have to offer this, yeah, technically we should have stomped their reflection, but now they don't have, like, a lot to get with it. All right, and here, here, reflection of Kiki Jiki. All right, we get to make like a million game objects. And we get a turbo out. Okay, yeah, we, I, I don't care about a land opponent. That's fine, that's fine. This is a board state, huh? This is a board state. I don't fancy our having to attack into this for our opponent. Oh, they get a static prison. What are you hitting? What are you hitting there, opponent? Okay, they hit our Sun Quinzer. So if they've got energy cards, they are unlocked. Eat, eat. They might try to hearse back with their hearse. To eat away their own yard. Okay, they do just that. Alright, so... Alright, so that happens... Yes, I don't really want to land. I'm going to get a land whether I want it or not. Um, yeah, I think I just have to swing house with tokens, you know? Like, opponent is getting low, and the fact that we've just got so much... Now, they can copy, make something to help block. They, they do have that. They can get... They can play out Amp Raptor to make sure we don't get our...
to make more energy. I don't know what they really have over there. I kind of think I should have put Giant down too, just to make this as obnoxious as possible. Oh, uh, they're going to kill Ara Johnny. Ugh, yuck. That, uh Well, that does suck. We do lose the payoff, but this is a hellacious thing swinging in. And we have Bone Crusher waiting in the wings. They can't kill our Ocelot. So we're going to get to make a bunch of tokens. We're not going to get any more uh, goblins, sadly, but we're going to get a bunch of treasures. Okay, yeah, they do that. They do that. Uh, that. All right. Okay, so they only lose... Oh, okay. Uh, they're getting more energy. Uh, yuck. So they never have to worry about that dying. I'd really love to be able to kill this reflection of Kiki Jiki and the Sun Quinzer. Alright, so they're going to get that. Uh, not really the most concerned about it. Okay. Okay, if Trans Magistrate was the last card they had in hand. Alright, we'll just keep it to where they're constantly eating their own yard with that. Yeah, th and this I'd like to point out is only uh, game two. We might have to scoop this up because, you know, we are falling a little bit behind on board. Uh man. Just our inability to find stuff. I, you know, that's really what's doing us in. Uh, right. So they've. Yeah, I'm just going to scoop. They just had like they got theirs to flip first and we just didn't see any interaction. We also got her rend like our amp raptor was the worst amp raptor hit. Like getting wear tear where they didn't have any permanent the targets that was just miserable. So I'm just going to value kind of hitting the board first. Yep, we got squished there, but it happens. Uh, I'm just gonna, like, hit the board first. Like, because if we had gotten wear tear, like, shatter their hearse, break their, uh, static prison. Yeah, that was it. I, be I honestly felt like we had such a low chance of hitting, like, a bad card that I would just jam it. Because if we had gotten hearse off of that, like, that would have been amazing. Like, just start eating away at their yard first. Like, win off of that. Um, okay, so... Celestial Purge... Uh, I think we can do better. Let's mulligan. Oh, not like this game. 
Yeah, this will keep. Uh, I'll put back. I like Aether Hub here. I'm going to put back Planes. Put back Planes. Done. I do hate that they get to cap. They kept a seven and we had to mold a five. That always sucks. Also, I just feel like having access to a third color is just going to give them so much of a shot in the arm in this matchup. So, we'll play Marsh Flats. And uh, we're going to hope our Raptor is a little kinder to us this time. Than he was the last. All right, let's do that. Let us drop a parlor. Be good to us. Uh, we'll put it on top. I kind of want to play our Raptor and then do that. Let them try and get something that involves energy down. All right, now we can play anything we hit in the deck. All right, Raptor, be kind to us this time, please. Windmill into something good, like an Ajani. Uh, cast. That's ve that's how you do it, Raptor. That's how you do it. Not what you did before. That was horrendous. Okay, so I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Uh, they could mana tie the blow us out that away. I wouldn't see it coming. I did not play around it. Hmm. Okay, they're going to theater. Probably setting up for a Bowmaster turn, I'd figure. All right. All right, all right. So I like that. That's four power on the board. We get to drop Arena of Glory. And then a Johnny or Sun Quinzer, depending on which is the best. Orcish Bowmasters. Meh. All right. What do we hit here? Elegant Parlor. Uh, yes. I'm going to discard Parlor. Okay. Galvanic Discharge. Uh... Okay. This is weird, but I think this is better. So let's drop our Johnny. Make a cat. Red. Discharge here. For one. Whip our Johnny. Create a cat. Kill that. And, uh, yeah, let's swing in. Let's see if they want to walk it to trade. Okay, they do. Uh, so... And we get to Sun Quinzer. So hopefully they don't just zap our Ajani. That would suck. It's looking like they're going to zap our Ajani. And it's going to suck, but it is what it is. All right, Amped Raptor, don't be as kind to them, please. Wap, wap. Ah, well. You know, it is what it is. All right, so that flips. Let's sack here. Soul Guide. Sun Quinzer. All right, opponent. You lose everything. And... Let's say go. So I'm liking where we're at now. So Flage is coming down. Womp womp. 
Oh, it's a fable. Nice, nice. Amped Raptor. So gain. We'll take that so they don't get any cards. We'll gain. Uh, let's copy that. Just to get more energy. So Soul Guide. And yes, there. Wow, we're doing pretty good to have had kind of like a less than stellar start. You know, it is still, we're not up the best, I gotta say. But we've got a steady supply of energy. We've got a sun cleanser. We're hitting them down to 15. All right. Oh, even more. Okay, that was good. Again. Hmm. I don't think we're going to put the Sun Quinzer in danger. I mean, I don't like they're going to get even more mana, but I think we just have to eat the hit. I think we've got to eat it. I don't want... Oh, Lord. All right. Okay, they take our Sun Quinzer. I mean... Hmm. Again, they had way more cards than us. We had to mulligan down to five. We just had miserable openers every time. We couldn't keep the one lander. It's too interactive a matchup to trust a monkey to connect with only one land. Now, if I had more than that, I probably would be a little bit more in on it, you know? Alright, uh, I mean, I don't... Mm. Alright. Oh, Lord. Yep, okay, this is kind of how we lose. Um, please don't kill our... Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. This is getting way out of hand. Yep, and then that sacrifice triggers there, Johnny. Ugh, they just... Some days it must be hard to have everything, you know? We fought as well as we could, but now things are just totally breaking their way. Yeah, they're going to dome us for like a million. They're going to kill... Oh, they actually kill that? Okay. Okay. Yeah, uh, the problem is with that exerted... Uh, yeah, we just lose. Uh, we had a card that would have broken it if that wasn't exerted. We could have killed their Johnny. Hope to draw land, escaped and gotten there, but they just have more permanence than us. All right. Uh. Well, we're on the draw. Uh, this is. Uh, yeah, I'll keep because we're on the draw. We get to set up a lot. We've got two fetches. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ugh, lordy. Don't like that, but, you know, it is what it is. Um. Blood Moon is not bad in this matchup either. Like, uh. 
if you can catch them like when they're not expecting it like you can just blood moon them out of the game i like soul guide because it's going to require them to interact i mean they so if they go all in on flipping tamio we're not as uh, upset all right okay and arena of glory uh yeah let's try it let's see if this baits anything out of them they're going to counter it okay uh i mean i see no reason to not hit them and let's say go now they can flip tamio a lot easier hmm all right. Ooh, Psychic Frog. Eek. I mean, I think we have to try and flage that while they're down. Like, I don't think we can not let them... Ha I don't think we can let them have that, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. All right, let's just go ahead and let's get a planes here. Let's get the old school one. And Flage. There. Here. All right. All right. Um... I mean, I could attack to make them throw have to throw away their entire hand uh yeah we could see i mean like yeah i just see if they take us up on this offer uh they do and they're gonna throw away another card now we are gonna be taking a lot of damage uh this is kind of a nightmare scenario uh, I was hoping they'd have something they wanted to hold on to, but it, they could delve out a giant Merc Titan if they do that game. All right. So they're going to do that. They're going to get to flip Tamio. They draw a card. Uh, they can crack. Uh, they only have two cards in hand, though. All right, let's get the other planes. Uh, I think this is a bad matchup. I think Frog is not our friend. Red, red. I mean, they could also just have a subtlety in hand with blue card to pitch. In which case, we're going to be very sad. We're going to be very, very sad. They, Oh, my lord. Oh, no, they just have counterspell. Uh... All right. I'm one to say that is borderline game. That is borderline game. Uh, they have run hot. Hot, hot, hot. They had everything they wanted to protect that frog. Uh, you know, like... I mean, they're go they get they're getting like two cards a turn. The odds of them ever running out of action are so slim now, and we're so low. Very bleak times. I feel like we'll see. You know, things can turn on a dime though. We're gonna try and kill Tamio. I think they're gonna set up the flip here. Oh Lord. All right, we've got a lot, though. I mean, Spell Pierce would be brutal. Okay, Stomp. Not really doing it. Are we just dead? Uh... All right. Uh, I don't think we really need four mana, so I'm going to get an Elegant Parlor and start fueling the graveyard again. Oh, God, we definitely don't need another land. So let's go ahead. Um. Oh, God. Red, white, and we'll flage again. I was gonna say if they subtlety, like, uh, again, you know, we can't, like, how do you be like when they run perfect? You can't. 
Uh, I mean, though, well, you see, they go up. We don't have enough to kill either of these. Well, we'll see, because I think what they're going to do is go up. They've got Lethal on board. We needed a way to exile the Murktide. Yeah, and we just didn't get it. Because if we drop that, even if they get it back, that resets Murktide. Hmm. Absolutely demolished there. Absolutely. I'm not liking Disruptor Flute in the main. I do think that is a very conscious metagame choice. So Westfield Purge is interesting here. Uh, maybe better than Bolt? Maybe. Uh, yeah, actually, they don't have a lot that... So I think that's good. Um, I don't really want a 61 card it. I do think Monkey is easy for them to deal with, but good. Discharge is a must. Uh, maybe we take out a Flage and run it like that. That said, Bone Crusher is a little black because it does not kill much. You know, like we... I shouldn't have tried to kill the frog uh, until it was swinging in. But we had to try and get it at sorcery speed. And I think when they just hemorrhaged their hand like that, they just had everything. Like, they just had the perfect hand. Okay, uh... Okay, I like this. I like this. You know, we get to start off. We get to be very assertive. So, I'm gonna keep. I don't know how we're gonna pull it out on the draw game three, but hey. Like, I will take any W we can get. And, you know, we might just... They might not have it, you know? They might not have it, like... It does feel like these counter spell decks like do nothing but run perfectly. And, you know, it sucks, but that happens. Uh, you just have to hope that... I mean, you just have to play and see if they've got it. Like, they might have the Fatal Push. If they do, they do, and it will suck. So, getting the energy. Red. If they've got the Stern Scolding, that also sucks. They've got it. Oh, they've got the Spell Snare. All right, let's hit them for one, and say go. I mean, like, you just have to force them to interact, and some days they're literally never got gonna have it. They're gonna have it, like, 110% of the time. They're just gonna drop, like, runner, runner. I'm kind of hoping they tap out for Frog. Ooh, perfect. We get to exile that frog, hopefully. Ooh, Arena of Glory is not a bad one at this point. Um, Let's get Elegant Parlor and see, you know, what we're getting. Uh, I like that. I like that. I know I said I kind of wanted to kill it, but I think I'm just going to drop this. Oh, they subtlety. Okay, F. Okay, so we kept on top. Uh, we'll put this to Johnny on the bottom since we want the cat we're getting. I mean. Alright, so they're gonna plus. Oh god, they've got deep analysis. Um, yeah, I think we just tank the hit. I mean, they've got deep, so they're going to get like a million cards. Which sucks, but eh. All right. I'm going to try and drop another Johnny and see if that will bait the interaction from their hand. It sure does. They just always assume they've got it, folks. Land. Red. Uh, purge. I mean, if they've got the negation, like, okay. I would say if they had Force of Negation, GG, like, you know, congratulations, you did everything perfectly, and I could not have it stopped you if I had wanted to. All right, Tamio. 
wouldn't mind a way to kill Tamio, drop Nakato, but yeah. Ooh, well, you know. All right, we'll do this one. Ocelot. Ah, uh, you had it. Oh, you cheeky thing. Ah, well, you know what? All right, so we're getting closer to City's Blessing. I mean, they swing in. <clears throat> I would I would want to make sure I drew more cards. They haven't made a land drop, which is big in our favor. Drown a Johnny, probably. Okay, they're going to Deep Analysis. Oh, God. Yep. And they're going to shrink our team. Uh, wow, that Tamiyo flip was humongous. All right, this, uh, hmm, actually, I've got an idea. All right, let's do it. Haste or mana? And let's see if they've got the spell snare that they, uh, oh, oh my god. Oh, God. I mean, we're not going to gain anything for this, but why not? Yep. Yep. And they, she shrinks the team. Uh, And, yeah, that is kind of it. That deep analysis after that Tamiyo. Again, this deck, I think, is just an absolute dog to uh, what opponent is doing. I think we're just so far behind them. Oh, no problem, Tommy. Feel free to take your time. All right. Uh. Purge. Hope they don't have it. Maybe we should just start attacking their face. So, like, I don't really know. Okay. Now, if we could get a threat, I mean, like, if they get it back, uh, they get it back. Like, I think we just have to attack. I mean, like, some days they've got it all, you know? Like, that happens with these control decks. Uh, and that's what they're doing. They've pivoted to a, con a tempo control role. Um, and they've just managed to draw all of their frogs. Oh, God. Uh, they know what our out is. Like, they've just perfectly rehearsed this in their head. Um. Yeah, and then that kills. Ah, actually, no. I think we attack anyway. Like, I've got to get something going here. And I think, uh, this is. Just hope that they, like, they shrink it. I'm hoping they forget and chump with frog. Or chump make us. Oh, yes, sweet. All right, so a Johnny flips. Oh no! Uh, God bleh. Um. Okay. Uh. Yeah, we'll keep because we're on the draw. We've got some good stuff. We've got all the lands we'll need. Uh, again, we're hoping it's not Tron with a turn one chalice. If it is, it is. You know. I'm feeling that bolt. Okay. Elegant Parlor. Uh, Jagatha. I think this is the... Oh, this is Storm. Alright. Uh, yep. Soul Guide and Sego. Hopefully we get uh, not a land. I hope we get a two drop, uh, preferably a Johnny. I mean, they could go off and just storm us out here on turn two, and uh, that sucks, but it is what it is. We've got a bolt to deal with. Rao, it's of course Ruby Medallion. It always is Ruby Medallion. They never lead on Rao when they know there can be interaction. 
Let's just Arid Mesa hit them for one, and this hand is really bad against them. You know, we'll see. Again, I think Storm is another tough matchup, uh, and it could just be that we've just run into that league where it's like, let's beat Boros Energy tonight. Let's just not let one of the top decks have its way. Okay. And when they go to do something here, we'll kill Rao. How's it going, Tommy? Oh, God. Ugh. Good. Your yeah. opponent is doing the Storm thing. I don't think I can give them more chances to hit something else. So just having removal was pretty good there. I mean, they could storm off here. They've got it, I feel like. Manamorphos making the... Get, netting the mana. Mm. Though that said, I mean, like, storm is one of those that, like, if you want to beat it, you can. Got Rin's Resolve, running it hot, everything they could want. And the fact they get to play that next turn is a little tilting. Um, you sideboard, uh... Harsh Mentor doesn't do anything. Uh, I like that. I like Disruptor Flute. That way we can, like... Because I'm just seeing... I, I do think... Oh, God. Is it broken? Uh, always tilting when that... Uh, when the face cap breaks. All right. There we go. Um... Uh... God, extra irritating, folks. Yep. Just making sure we can't do anything. Uh, I do think we're going to try and... Hopefully we get our own Static Prison and we can kill their stupid Ruby Medallion. And kind of leave them with stuff stranded in hand. All right. Um, sadly, I think it's Ruby Medallion or Bust here. Or, I mean, uh, Static Prison to eat their Ruby Medallion or Bust. Because we do that, if they don't have a land drop next turn, that fizzles in hand. And they're kind of left playing catch up. All right, what do we get? How, uh, wage? No. I mean... Yeah, let's get another parlor. Uh, yeah. How's it going, Court? Uh, not good. Not good. We've run into uh, Mardu, which is the better version of Boros Energy. We've run into uh, Demir Murktide, which beats Boros Energy pretty handily. I think that matchup is miserable uh we're running into storm where they are just literally having everything they could ever have wanted i think they might have the kill here oh god yep uh all right i mean i think we can we kill ral and maybe that gets us out while they're tapped out. All right. So, you know, maybe that does it. I mean, they were going to get a bunch of mana dorks. I mean, we kill one of them. Oh, God. Uh, Johnny, you're the opposite of what we need right now. Uh, yeah, let's just get a Plains. Uh, red, this. Kill one of these and just hope that it is enough. 
I mean, if they don't have it, uh, this suddenly turns pretty hard in our favor, especially if we find a static prison to eat their Rube medallion. Although with a reducer that good and six mana, I think it's going to be pretty hard. Like if they get passed in flames, it's all over. It's all over. Like going up life helped. Yep. They pay their last energy. Uh, yep, strike it rich. Not looking good here. Fetch. Not looking good at all. Like, because if they go past in flames. Also, unlicensed hearse is going to be coming in for us. Yep. With that, I think they just do this. Crack. Wish. Win. I'm hoping killing that one saved us enough. Okay, another ruby medallion. So, plan kill the ruby medallion is kind of off the table. I mean, zap their spawn. Hope. They've got one in hand. They have a million mana, and they can start flashing stuff back. Um, you know, we could just get lucky. Like, I mean, stupid luck is a thing. You know, we zap this when we unearth Flage. If they don't have it, we deal nine. If we draw like a second of Johnny, we drop a Johnny, make a cat, drop the other a Johnny, sack whichever one. It doesn't matter because we make another cat and then we dome them again. And because we make yet another cat, we dome them for four. You know, OK, um, I'm convinced this game is messing with me some days. All right, so we'll do double red, white, white. Here, uh, I mean, we have to cut them off some mana and just hope they don't have it. Like, I think that's our only out here. And just hope that our life total is high enough to buoy us. Now, the fact that we do have all of this mana, uh, if we get to untap, we hit them. Flage them in the face. Uh, we do get a creature back. That's not for nothing. We're at 21 life, also not for nothing. We've got a couple of things pulling our way. Uh, we can drop a Johnny. Uh, yep, they now have more mana than they could possibly have anything to do with. Okay, we might, okay, we might actually win here. We might win. All right. Game. All right, planes. Here, here. A Johnny. All right. So make cat. Soul guide. Soul guide. All right. Trigger. Face. So here. Uh, sure. Yes. Here. Here. Uh, I can't believe we're, if we win this, I'm going to be, like, actually flabbergasted. So, we're doing nine, and if they don't kill these, we just get to... Wage? Uh, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I don't really know what to say about that, folks. Um, it's pride. Uh, pride is the one I don't know about. Bone Crusher doesn't kill anything, uh, so I like Hearse instead. Since that will eat away at their yard and provide a big threat late game. 
Like, we just keep chewing away at it, eating all of their spells, leaving them with just, like, lands and sundry things like that. Uh, and then eventually we just crew a giant hearse, smack them for, like, ten. We're on the draw, but I think Monkey is too good. I knew we need Disruptor Flip. I like... Uh, maybe a Jolly is just too mid. We'll try like that. Maybe a Jolly is too mid. I don't know. I know a lot of the furries are going to be upset that we've got to cut a uh, buff cat, but I don't... I think he's just too mid for this one. He's a good threat and all, but I just... I don't think he does it. Deck. Deck. We cannot keep that one lander. Okay, okay. I like this. Um, put back Wage. We're on the draw. We've got, like, decent threat spread. They don't do anything until turn two anyway. Come on. Good one drop. Good one drop. Good one drop. Uh, well, I really don't want to draw any more tap lands like that, so we're going to Arid Mesa. We don't have anything, so we're going to get the other Elegant Parlor, just like they did. And we're going to try and uh, see. They don't really have anything good to get with the hearse. Uh, we'll see what they drop. If they don't drop a reducer... Okay, Rao as a reducer. Uh, I like that because it is killable. And that's always good. Okay, uh, you don't do anything, so to the bin you go. Okay, come on. Oh, uh, Lord. Um, well. I mean, we could be dead, but uh, spin it to win it. Cast a uh, ruby medallion. And away you go. All right. They might be able to storm off with Raul, though. Uh, if they can't storm off this turn, we do get to uh, drop a wage. And then we get to start eating their uh, kill their Raul. Okay, Glimps is a big one. Don't like that. And remember, this isn't actually stopping it. Okay, God. So they get to go Pyretic. Yep. Unload more stuff from their hand. Okay, they did lose the flip, which is always nice for us. Uh... I kind of would like a one mana removal spell so we could just zap Rao, hit them. Oh, Lord, they might actually have it here. Maybe I should have named uh, a ritual effect. Uh, they could also just be looking to flip Rao uh, again. Like, I, I was hoping we would hit a bolt or something, kill Rao, Sago, Hearse, play that tapped. Start really fueling for our Flage and get there that way. But it looks like that just was not in the cards. That was just not something that was going to happen. Uh, I don't really know what they do here. They might be... I, I'm hoping we get lucky and they fizzled. I feel like that's unlikely with three cards in hand. I feel... And five mana. I feel like that's unlikely. Like, they can... Uh, uh God... Yep, they wish. All right. They passed in flames. Oh, empty the Warrens. Okay. Oh, God. Yep, that's game. Well, no, maybe not. I mean, that is really obnoxious that they got, like, uh, everything here. Uh, they got what they wanted perfectly, 
And they get to make more stuff. Uh. Hmm. Okay, okay. Uh, you know. Maybe we're not that out. Of, maybe we're not out of it just yet, folks. All right. Goodbye, Rao. I hate you. <laughs> and, uh, what we're going to do is... Oh, sorry. There. We're going to hope they don't have it. All right. So... We're going to be blocking one of those. We're taking nine. Uh, that's not good, obviously. But... We can keep Rao locked down for a couple turns. I mean... And we are shrinking their board every time we do this. So that's pretty big. Uh, I'm going to probably eat... Uh, okay. All right. Take nine. I mean, they could also baby storm and kill us now. I mean, if they do, they do. Like, that said, killing one of those, they get another row. Oh, God. All right, well, let us eat ritual wish. Okay, so we kill the Rao. Uh, all right, come on. Ooh, static prison. Uh, yes. All right, we'll do this one. Drop it. Eat a token. Fetch. Get a planes. Red, red. Wage. Kill their route. Go up to nine, and we get to escape it next turn. Uh, we're probably going to eat Glimps, Empty, and uh, next. So we're taking seven. All right, we're, the problem is we're just losing to the slow attrition of them having a lot. We're down to two. We zap one. Uh, they might just have it here. They might just brute force. Okay, they wish. Yeah, I think they're just going to brute force. And they grape shot for the last two. Yeah. Uh. Hmm. Okay. Again, eh, not much we could have done. We should have just not gotten unlucky, I guess. You know, that happens. All right, let's see. We'll reveal Jagatha. Um, okay. Uh... I'm going to keep and I'm going to shock drop pride so we can hit them and hopefully we draw a uh... all right upkeep this yep they didn't have to mold a six so that is a good thing I'd like a wear tear off the top And if they're on Rao, we can kill it next turn, so that's pretty good. If they're on Medallion, we get to take it with that. All right. Land, please. Well, that's almost as good, right? Uh, put on top. 
All right, let's go ahead. Let's hit them. Regain some life. Make a token. All right, they get to parlor. Uh, we get a cat. Kitty. I hope it's Rao so we could just zap it, drop, uh, or better yet, hmm, mm, mm. uh, it is a medallion. They don't do anything. We hit them for two, drop Amp Raptor. Get in, hopefully find a way to kill it or get a Flage in the yard to dome them or better yet get in a Johnny. Uh, that way we can flip our Johnny. The following turn. And, uh... Like, Static Prison. I think doing all that would just be such overwhelming game. If that's what happens, you know. Uh, Rao would be fine. I just zap it. Well, let's, if they Rao pass, I amped her after. See if I hit, like, a bolt or something. Either way, kill it. All right. That could be literally anything. Um, uh, okay, Ruby, that's fine. Okay, we've got plans for this, don't we? All right. Land. All right, red, red, amped raptor. All right. Titan of Nature's Fury. No. Sadly, we cannot. But we'll do this. Why? Static. Get some energy. So we've got four turns off, essentially. We are tapped down, which sucks. All right, and uh, yeah, we get to, we have interaction. What should be another, okay. Impulse, ooh, Rao and Wish. That's gonna be a heck of a turn next turn, but you know. Uh, yeah. Why? A Johnny. Make a cat. And attack with all. All right, so they are under a metric ton of pressure now. All right, they rail. I mean, uh, yeah, I've got to kill you now, Rao. All right, one, two, three. Okay. All right, so we have to hope that fizzles them. It might not. They do have wish. Okay. Yeah. If they have just all rituals, oh god. All right. Ritual.deck, everybody. Uh. Oh god. They literally had it all. There's nothing we could have done. Uh, they ritual ritual. Uh. Ritual storm count is only 8 though. All right, uh, okay. <sighs> yep. Mm. All 
Oh, God. I don't know what they do here. I feel like they... Okay, the medallion. And... Uh, oh, God. How do they keep getting to do that? Oh, I hate Fast and Flames. Uh, well, they are kind of at the end of the line. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And uh, more in store. We could also just hit them. Galv discharge uh, a Johnny. Apparently, uh, this is close. Like, I don't know how they do this and not fizzle because they're super dead if I get to untap. They're beyond dead. I just have the beats. I've got the beat down. I'm... They have storm count of 15, so they can, like, blow up my board. Uh, that's a deal. Okay, wish they've got one. It has to be grape shot. It has to be grape shot. But that puts one, two, three actual cards in my yard. They have to grape shot just to stay in the game here. Um. Yep. They. Oh God! Did they get there exactly? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. God. Ah. That was so obnoxious. Uh, past in flames. And the fact they got a use off of that, and they just had rituals, and we have no lands. And we're just apparently never going to be on the play. Again, I think that's just... Uh... And you're going to have those times where, okay, this is keepable. I'll do so. Uh, I'm probably going to put back... Is it sacrilegious of me since I'm on the draw? I'm going to put back monkey, actually. And we're going to probably drop a soul guide into either... Hmm. wonder what this could be with Jagatha. It could be Storm again, which... Uh, would suck. Okay. Oh, it's Prowess. Ooh. Okay. All right. Swifty getting in. Um, I'm going to drop my soul guide and they, ooh, they, they did have to mulligan. That can be big deal for prowess. Uh, we'll see if they kill this. Um, if they do, I kind of, I might like, if they just do that, hit us and don't drop a follow-up creature. I'm thinking about just, uh, Bolting Swifty. That's a ooh, swick shot coming down. Uh I'm gonna tank it. Like if they've got it, they've got it. Oh, they actually ooh, they hold back. That is interesting. Alright. Okay, uh let's shock red here. This. Okay, so here first. Right. Uh, after after cast. Well, oh, you know. All right. Well, we could be dead next turn because I, I should have bolted. Ow. Ah, I think what we're going to do is uh, if we don't die to a million damage, we're going to bolt show off. After we double block Swifty, drop a Johnny, get the cat, gain two life, and hope that kind of stabilizes. Now they are low, so it is hard to say. I feel like this is a matchup that if I had played this correctly. In retrospect, I think I was supposed to just, uh, ooh, two mana? 
Ooh, they're going to Amped Raptor of their own. All righty. Opponent getting in. Sun Quinzer might not actually be the worst. Okay, so they get a show off. Very good. So, uh, hmm. Yeah. All right, well. Okay, they're just going to get in for two. Fair. Though they could have mutagenic, but it doesn't seem like it. It seems like they're just trying to get in when they can. Valid. Uh, mm. And we continue to flood. Get an energy. Uh, why this? Uh, Johnny. Um, so we'll do this. Gain, uh, this will seem weird, but I'm going to go ahead and bolt that cat to flip our Johnny. All right, zero. All right, so gain, and here, we'll kill that. All right, and we'll go in with this one. All right, so yes. And attack. I mean, they can kill our Johnny this turn. Uh, if they do, it sucks. That said, if they don't, um, we get to kill their other Swig Shot. I feel like they have the means to kill it in hand, though. I feel like they have the means to kill it. Because, I mean, that was a pretty good swing in our favor. Uh, all right, two mana. What could this be? Okay, another swift shot. Oh, God. March of the birds, everybody. I mean, they can kill a Johnny very easily. If they've got a mutagenic, a Johnny's gone. I kind of think it just tossed the cat warrior into it. I'm kind of hoping we just draw a removal spell. Dome swick shot when we make another cat. Zap the other one. Swing in with a with an amp rafter without flying. Or and all right, they're pressing face. Uh, fine, fine and dandy. All right, Flage. Uh, well. Uh, let's go ahead. Uh, get a parlor. Mm, yeah, I think we got to bend that. Make cat. Gain. Kill. Get in with our little dinosaur friend. Yes. Okay. I mean, they can easily kill the Amp Raptor, but that's also damage not going at our face. And again, we do still have a pretty good board state. DRC. Uh, and it could just be like bad times for opponent, although I feel like they're saving up for a big turn. All right. Uh, so they're going to bobble. Prowess. Yep. I feel like they're going to kill that Raptor because they really need a Johnny dead. A Johnny is policing the board so hard. That said, though, putting cards in our yard right now is a risky venture. Like, yeah, because one, two. We sacrifice the soul guide. We get to. Or we 
throw the soul guy in front of something. Because, I mean, that Swift Shot is dead next turn. Like, 1 million percent, I'm killing that. Okay, Bobble. So they know about that, so they're going to draw an extra card. They, ooh. All right, so they do draw their card. I'm thinking about getting the other Elegant Parlor just to fuel the Flage. All right, well. Elegant. Been that. So gain. Kill. Um. Let's go ahead and static prison the uh, other flyer. And. Actually. Here. Yes. We'll put it on the cat. Put them to one. Make them have to kill us next turn. Oh, and away I go. See y'all. All right, just in case they have a swick shot somehow. And as of right now, we can, like, if they don't kill a Johnny, we plus a Johnny game. All right, Amp Raptor spinning to winning. All right, why are you hitting there, opponent? It's going to have to be something. Something really impressive. Uh, Swifty is not that impressive. Because we just plus... We've got them dead, like, multiple, multiple ways. You hate that. You hate that. I mean, I do think we have to give them the benefit of the doubt if they attack with the Swifties. We block, block. All right. Um. Yeah. Red. Exert. White. Uh. Oh wait. Here. Colorless. All right, so that puts them at negative not. Oh, negative eight. Yeah. All right, so Blood Moon is really bad against them, so out it goes. Celestial Purge, though. Exile and those uh, red and black permanents looking pretty up. Uh, Disruptor Flute, I think, is kind of mid. Other than that, I actually think we're pretty well geared to beat them. Um, there is some consideration for taking out Monkey on the draw, but... Mm, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I think just having, like, interaction is going to carry the day. And, like, the fact that if we can get to three mana untap, we just start doming with Flage is pretty good for us, you know? Like, that is a big, big up sign for us. Flage, Titan of uh, something. Titan of Fire's Fury. House card, 10 out of 10. People were really not high on this when it was spoiled, and I've always thought it would be it would find a home. I figured it would make a new deck. I did not think I think Burn wants one or two, maybe. Probably not. I think Burn's not in a great place, but I think Burn wants a 
a couple in the 75, I'll say. Uh, but a deck formed around. I was kind of hoping for a more mid rangey Mardu deck. Eh, we kind of got that. Also, I mean, to my credit, I didn't know, like, a Johnny would be good. I didn't know we'd be getting Ocelot Pride, Guide of Souls, etc., etc. God, if we got Guide of Souls, like, Fet Shock, Tank whatever first hit, Ocelot, Ocelot, like, just the board grows, you know? But I think we're going to be playing this tab out control style. So, uh, boop, that. All right. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'll keep. Uh, just because we can draw something. I've got Bone Crusher. They did keep a seven this time, so that's better for them. Definitely. I'm thinking about... Uh, we'll see what we draw. So, red... Says go. Um... I think we see what they do here. They probably shock in. I think we're going down to 19 because I do want to fuel this flage. So having two cards in the yard. Swick shot with five. Kind of hoping they... Okay, they do show a bobble. They bobble target us. I mean, it doesn't matter because we're going to be shuffling it away. I mean, they could go all in on this one. Uh, I'm kind of hoping they use mutag... They don't have mutagenic to save it. We're going down to 16. But let's see. Uh, let's get the parlor. As was prophesized. Ben, you. They do draw an extra card. It could be the mutagenic growth they need to save this. You know, like we have to be aware of that. Alright. Stop? Do you have it? I mean, this is a big break for them if they do, but I'd rather them blow it on our turn as opposed to the other way around. They do not. Sweet. So, I think Guide of Souls, Ocelot, Ocelot. Hope that we get to go to our instep with all of these permanents. After after. Alright, spin opponent. Spin it opponent. Alright. Okay, Swifty is a good get. Swifty is not a bad get here. That is card advantage for them. And we get an Amped Raptor. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is Guide of Souls. While they're tapped out, they have to have like gut shot or something, which I doubt they run. And we'll do that to gain a bunch of life and clog up the board. All right, so that. I'm liking, I'm liking where we're at right now. Uh, opponent is in the tank on something. Like the fact that we're gaining back up to 19 life and have like chump blockers for days is pretty good. Uh, I think we're going to go in absentia of anything else. I think we're going to go uh, white soul guide amped raptor if we get like essentially dead draw. Uh, Although, putting the plus one, plus one counters on the first striking life winker, giving it flying in this matchup, hmm, sounds tempting. 
Especially when we can soul guide. Uh, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That'll give us City's Blessing. Now, they can't absolutely dumpster us. We have to remember that. I think they are... I mean, so... Ah. Ooh, Harsh Mentor. Okay. Okay. I mean... Hmm. They got it. They got it. I think... Alright. They're gonna bolt. Okay. They do that. I don't feel it is warranted to lose my ocelots yet. Our, our odds of getting the city's blessing are kind of high, so... I am probably just going to tank the hit. Yeah, I'm just going to tank the hit. Alright. Okay, so that's not a bad one, but let's still go Soul Guide. Amped Raptor. So, energy, soul guide, cast. All right. In this case, uh, we'll do this. So, first one. Yes. Here. Second one. Yes. Here. And that's going to be a big old life swing for us. And with the city's blessing, uh... This is a board state. Um... We do have to respect they can deal a lot of damage, even though we're at like 30 plus life. And, um... Nyon anime... Super anime villain levels of energy here. We've got that. Um, spin it to win it, their opponent. I, this has to be so demoralizing for them, though. Oh, no. They only got a Swift Spear. Like, I hate that we're just, like... Hammer blow, hammer blow, hammer blow. Like, they bolt one of our Ocelot prides. That's probably the best. Obviously, like, we're just tanking anything they send our way. No, um... Flage... Yeah, there. I was like, I don't think it matters how this resolves. This, this, uh, a kitty, because why not? Yes, kitty. Yes, dinosaur. Dinosaur. Um. Eh, we got we got fifty play points, and we ended the match at fifty life. I mean, come on, how cool was that? But overall, the deck. Uh, no, I don't know why I do that every time. Uh, I can see why this is one of the top decks in modern. I would have brought in Dranath Magistrict over to the Third Sun. Uh, Celestial Purge and the Fourth Mentor in retrospect. Actually, if I know it had been Storm, I probably would have cut and brought in three of them. 
You know, just because I feel like that is one that we could have very easily won if we had the right stuff. We didn't. Hmm. Sucks some days, you know. You're gonna have those. And it is what it is. Like, not too, too much you can do. I do still enjoy the deck. Uh, I think a lot of it. I just realized I didn't do the exclamation point deck in case, or in case you all are interested. So, there we go. Like I said, deck is good. Uh... One of the top decks in the format for a reason. I personally, my play style, I like this. I might revisit this because this was a lot, a lot of fun. But since I did a big buy list order to TCG, I'm probably just building to mirror frog tide. That's more of a Luna deck. That's more of a Luna deck, you know? It's just more my speed. Uh, this is really good. I could see myself sitting down. I'm very interested in the new version of Mardu Energy. We might wind up playing that on stream either Sunday or Monday. 